The Cap Putsch was an attempted coup on the 13th of March 1920, which aimed to undo the German Revolution of 1918 to 1919, overthrow the Weimar Republic, and establish an autocratic government in its place. It was lead led by Wolfgang Kapp and was an ultimate fail, although they did establish control of the government for two days. Oh dear my lads and lasses, looks like we're in an utter dilemma now for Germany because they haven't been paying their reparations. Naughty naughty. So that means big old France is going to do the marchy into the Ruhr and take their metal. Now Germany can't be having any of this, so they do passive resistance. Now passive resistance is a form of non-violent protests, and yes, they paid the workers to not work. See, it seems simple enough, and you would think, wow, this is a great plan, lads, this is going to be working, but it's not. See, the problem is, you're paying their money, but you're not getting any money back. So, the solution? Print more money. Now, printing more money doesn't help because, as you can see in this next clip, this is what happens to Germany's economic value. Yes gamers, you guessed it, it's that time, it's time for Hyper Inflation. Now the year is 1923, straight after the invasion of the Ruhr. The Weimar government decide they want to print out lots of notes. This sends the value of the mark, the German currency, all the way up from one mark to the pound to 200,000 billion marks to the pound. Now this is an insane, insane amount of hyperinflation. This has been creeping up slowly through the years, but in 1923 it hits its peak in around October meaning that it's a ridiculous amount of money to spend. This obviously meant that the German people were not happy, and a lot of them were swaying towards the extremist. An example of this is the Nazis. Now, when the Nazis began, they had 12 members. Now, towards 1923, they had around 50,000 members. And they were about to begin their first big assault. The Munich Putsch also known as the Beer Hall Putsch, was a failed coup by the Nazi party. Leader Adolf Hitler, along with Edric Ludendorff and other leaders, seized power of Munich, which took place on the 8th and 9th of November. Approximately 2,000 Nazis marched into the city centre when they were confronted by police cordons, who were tipped off. This resulted in the death of 14 Nazis and 4 police officers. During the march, the Nazis linked arms and walked together. Hitler only just escaped death by tripping on a rock. A rock started the war. Yo, hang on a minute. Lads, do you hear that? It's time for a quick fire round. Here comes Super Stradesman. Here we go. <coughs> Gustav Stradesman ended hyperinflation. He renegotiated respirations. Doors plan and young plan. They're more than you did. He improved living conditions of the population. He improved international relationships. Locarno, League of Nations and Kellogg. But then he died. <laughs>